Hello everyone, this is Richard G, and it took a bit of thought after getting all the birds, but I've decided what to do. So, not being fully evolved, it's kind of tough to decide what to do because there are a lot of things in post-game, but most of which it's probably a good idea to be fully evolved for. And since I'm not, well, there's kind of a limit to what we can do. So... First step is getting Charmeleon. There we go. And I'm gonna get myself ready before we reveal what to do, although maybe some of you already know through the thumbnail or whatever. But, let's suppose you don't know. And of course, bag is full, so I have some stuff to sell. Sell this here and that. All this stuff that will give us some good money. Hornberries don't need those. It's not like Super Mr. Dungeon where they raise your HP. Just gotta make some space. Get rid of the apple. Why not? Every little bit of space house, although... Yeah, that, I'll get rid of the other one, too. A couple huge apples, that'll get me through. Well, let's see what you got to buy. Yeah, that might help. I suppose look at the mission board before we decide fully what to do. Anything for a uh, normal gummy? White? Anything? Cause that's what I'm looking for. And I do not. So I guess no missions again. Might as well store that money. A lot of money, but I'm not buying all the friend areas yet. I don't need to accidentally require storyline again. I've done enough of that. <laughs> And there's nothing I truly want to recruit, so... I guess now's the time. So, the decision has been made. We are going to Northern Range. To go after a certain lead foot that flew through town stealing the Purple Kecleon's stuff. So, this is what we do. And I think we can handle it. This should be easy enough for us. A nice Kecleon shop there, but no. So this one may be a bit longer. We'll see how long this takes. Well, if I can keep finding the stairs, not that long. But here's to hope by the end of this that I actually get it a, a couple levels. Because I do need to evolve soon. And this is going to be some good EXP for us. Ooh, rain. Just what I need. But not Charmeleon. Wow, Kecleon's keeping busy in this place. Yeah, I can just throw these. And they actually hit something. Good. Come here. I think, yeah, this should be something we can handle uh, despite not being fully evolved, so this was a good choice. Yeah, it... Not bad. The items, there's nothing really good, though. Nice job, Charmeleon. Ah, and there's one of those rooms, kind of like in Southern Sea. Or Stormy Sea. Stormy Sea, Stormy Sea. Southern Sea. I'm thinking of a different game, guys. Jeez. Oopsies. They're both SS. Point taken.
Well, apparently, secret power is being cringy today. Good. It's been a while since I've done that kind of stuff. Yeah, this is child's play. At least for now. I mean, these are still the early floors. Although that's something I gotta watch out for. Scope lens? Yep. Good. Oh wow, we're a fiber seed in here? Good, I think we're prepped up. Well, stuff here likes to float of the water, so yeah. But whatever floats your boat, am I right? You knock that off. I don't care about your opinion, Ninjask. Okay, sandstorm. That's a bit random. But, not too bad. I don't think there's anything with sandstream. That'd be kind of weird, but okay. Oh, no, I don't want to switch. I don't want to trust Charmeleon on its own right now. But so far, so good. You know, I thought Pidgeot would be stronger than that. Apparently not. I really thought this was going to be harder. I really did. Or maybe it's just that I'm that good. Yeah, I know. Shut up, Richard. There's another Keckley on here. How many are we going to find? Well, on the right side, I can sell one of my items here. Ta-da! Money! Because that's just what revolves around the world. Yeah, a lot of flying and bug types. I can work with that. It actually works really well with me. And x-ray specs that I don't need. Okay. Okay, so spin rack's level 34, right at my level. That's nice. Oh, boy. I gotta thank Quick Dodger so many times for that. Oh... Quick seed, huh? Okay. Oh, well, that takes care of that quick seed usage. Well, I'll just find another one. Swap these two, and there we go. You could say I'm breezing through this dungeon. I mean, the time really flies by. However, there are some parts of this dungeon that bug me. Well, we'll just descend through. OK, 
Get burned. The Onage is real right now. Whew. What's this TM? Roar. No, thank you. Oops, wrong move. Oh, well, that works. My money now. Keep flinching. Keep flinching. Oh, good thing that failed. So yeah, this place is going to start bringing in traps. We're finally seeing some of those. What's this Kekman shop got? Eh, just a bunch of random stuff. Well, I guess I can just drop some items off here. And there's some items sold right... Oh, shoot, I didn't want to... Well, I didn't mean to throw it, but, uh... Okay. I'll just have to find another time to use that. But yeah, a lot of Kecleon shops here. I find that funny, considering we're going to get the culprit of someone who stole from Kecleon. Couldn't one of these Kecleon dealt with it, seriously? Or they're probably just thinking, oh, you didn't steal from me, I don't care. It's probably what it is. Yeah, we have to hunt him down. Wow. And definitive proof right there that bite is a special attacking move. That troll orb is going to be useful later. If I find a decent Kecleon shop, and oh, thank you. That just made that trip easier. Bring it. So in terms of EXP, we're looking to be getting close, but I don't know if we'll get a level up, unfortunately. That works. Quick seed, that's useful. Orb, I don't care. Oh, sunny weather. How you bright up my day. Good EXP, gimme. More gravel rocks, okay. This place isn't really known for items, that's for sure. Pidgeot, you're stupid. It really is, though. Um, the Letty Bug give the best EXP. However, I'm still on top. I can't pick that up, unfortunately, but oh well. Great, more of those. Uh, I want to get some level ups. But so far, it's not looking too promising. 
Well, I'll keep trying. That's something I could use. Don't have to use the one in my bag or one of them. Perfect. Can I eat any of those chestnuts, please? You'd think they'd scatter on the ground for us to peel, but... Nope. Another scenery change. Lovely. Nice move, Charmeleon. The flying types, for the most part, don't give as much EXP. The bugs? Yes. Ladiba being both? I don't know what to think about it. It just seems to give the most here. So please, spawn in more Ladiba. Or, Ladien. Ladien. My bad. They look so similar. Come on. Well, at least Charmeleon's being the troll it once was. Ah, no you don't. Didn't quite kill it, so we fire again. Because why not? Overall, though, it's pretty nice for us. And get back here. My EXP. Or you just teleport. Okay. I guess that's one way to be a dick. I'm honestly surprised it didn't teleport again. Same with that right there. Now where are those stairs? That's been a mystery this floor. There they are. So far so good in the EXP though. Not a chance. It's too late to pursue me when I'm right in your face. Give me more. I think in Charmeleon's pretty much out of moves here, just about. If that's all he seems to be using most mostly. I don't get why, but okay. Quick seed? Um, nah, forget it. I ain't gonna leave Charmeleon behind on his own. Togetic. Oh, those things can be monsters. I remember those. Yep. They are the powerhouse here. I don't get how, but it's mainly their ancient power. And yet they only give 61 EXP. What the heck? Okay. That does not make any sense at all, but, um... Okay, then. Although I do think I know one day... If I ever want to recruit Kecleon, this might be the dungeon. Because the amount of Kecleon shots that are in the earlier part is very nice. So this might be the spot. Stay away from the Togetic. Wherever it may be. You know what? 
This is the one time I'll leave Charmeleon behind a little bit because I have a feeling stairs are around here. They've gotta be. Yep, right there. Went by him. Whew. So far, so good. Okay, I want to fight some more Pokemon. And there's something new. Oh boy. Well, it'll be easier to kill. One. And you have more HP, okay. More HP, more power, less EXP. Does that make any sense to any of you guys? Okay. Ow. Next floor, please. Well, Sviper seems to be lucky with its ability. Yeah, Charmeleon, are you out of... No, you just are stubborn to use Smokescreen. Well, whatever. Oh, no, you don't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Wake up. And thus it stays safe. Oh my gosh. Well, there's a level up for me. Jeez, that was annoying. Well. And this again. This is not what I want right now. Oh god! Why aren't they so powerful? Oh shoot! Oh! How am I not dead? This is definitely pushing my limits. But I need more training. I just need to get a level on Charmeleon. We're good. Although this floor is not going to do it. I'm exploring. This is making the video longer, but I really need to train. In these next two dungeons, if I don't evolve, I've got nothing to do but a training run. I don't think you guys want to see another one of those. I'm not going to catch them. They're not going to turn around. Yep. Lovely. Wait a minute. Get down there. Intercept them. Cut them off at the pass, and they got away. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
shoot. No Surviper. Surviper, no surviping. Now die. Jeez, they pack a punch. But at least I killed them all. And ow. Don't tell me this dungeon's gonna get spiked. I like over there all the Pokemon that are spawning. No, come on. I want that EXP. All mine, 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 mine. Oh shoot, why does it have to be a bunch of toga tick? Okay, going back. I ain't dealing with that one either. Hmm. Yeah, they're not coming this way. Maybe I should just wait for the wind. There's so many Pokemon spawning too, but they're not coming this way. Eh, move on. Ooh, this will be a good training floor, possibly. Oh boy. Togetic, why do you have to do this to me? Well, if you want to play this game... Right back at ya. Because that actually works. Yay. Got to push onward. Oh, good thing that failed. I don't want to be slowed. This is the good room, though, it seems. Being so big. Let's see if we can get some training in. Perfect. Oh, now it's confusion. Really? Okay. Jesus! Metronome Fissure! Togetic, you monster! I tell you, what is this madness? Now, will something come over here, please? They just don't. Well, in that case, I go to them. And now they're going to start going the other direction. Or come my way, come on. Hmm. Charmeleon, how close are you? Seriously, how long is this going to take you? I can't be here all day. I have a limit to how long I can stay. Togetic, no. Jesus, Charmeleon, how far away are you? No way. 10,000 away. And I'm 16,000. Oh dear God. Yeah, that's not good. 
That is not good at all. Oh boy. Okay, knocked out. You can leave me alone now. This place definitely doesn't like me. That's a prime example right there. Die, die. Thank you. Oh boy, I like to know how Charmeleon fell so far behind. Well, Max Elixir is in use for both of us, I think, at this point. Right, I have to throw it at him in order for it to work. Almost forgot that. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, this is going to take a while to train us up, especially Charmeleon. Oh well, it'll have to be done at some point. Just continue fighting. Hey, I killed one in one shot. That normally doesn't happen. Oh, so that's why there was a cleanse orb earlier. Lovely. Well, that spawned out of nowhere. Hello. Ah. Togedic really has a uh, high attack stat, but I just... I don't understand how it does. Oh boy. Wake up! Wake up! Thank you. Okay, good thing that didn't work. Really? No! I could have turned this into a training floor. Not anymore! Well, that sucks. That really does. How long can we last? Not very long. Well, I guess this is the XP we deal with. Moving on. This is the end. So that's our culprit. Oh, who are you? I see, you are trying to get your TMs back. But, nobody can stop me. I am the Eon Pokemon Larios. If you really want your TMs back, you'll have to take them from me. That I will. Well, this could be difficult. I don't know how strong he is, but we're going to take him down. Okay. Are you really going to run away like always? Oh, come at me. Oh, that's a wonderful time to use safeguard. Oh, ho, ho. I give you credit for using Refresh, but you're down. There we go. We have knocked down Larios. Now let's see what punishment we decided to see fit. Oh. Uh, please, please let me go. I have to go. There's somewhere I have to go. If I don't hurry, M my little sister... 
Okay. We just beat him up so hard. Look, he's waking up. Where? This is the Pokemon Square. You fainted in the Northern Range, so we brought you back here. You, how dare you steal my fine collection of quality merchandise? You had better be prepared for harsh justice. Now wait, there must be a good reason for this. We should at least hear that. That's right, I have to go get my sister. Oh, this wound? You're injured, you can't fly for now. Tell me, how do you justify what you've done? I have a younger sister. Her name is Latias. Oh, no, hold on, hold on right there. Sister Lot. Both of you are technically genderless, I'm pretty sure, even though you look like the male-female thing. And I'm pretty sure Lo legendaries can't breed except for Latio. Or Lugia. What the? You know what? There's a baby Lugia in the anime, so let's just let it slide. Latias. Crash somewhere in the Pitfall Valley. What? The Pitfall Valley? What is that? What is the Pitfall Valley? It is near the Northern Range. They say that anyone so unlucky to fall in the Pitfall Valley will never return again or emerge. Latias and I were flying over the Northern Range when suddenly what appeared to be a meteorite struck Latias in the wing. Her wings shattered by the blow. Latias tumbled down into the depths of the Pitfall Valley. A meteorite? Richard G, do you think that maybe it's a chunk of the blown up meteor? I went into the Pitfall Valley in hopes of rescuing my sister, but I made little headway. I wasn't up to the task. So that drove you to steal the technical machines. Yes. I intended to make amends after I saved my sister, but that doesn't mean I can get away with thievery. I was wrong, and I'm sorry. Uh, uh, oh my! It, it's not a problem, not a problem at all! For a reason so compelling, it can't be helped. <laughs> However, if you were to plumb the depths of Pitfall Valley, what would you do then? The nether regions of the Pitfall Valley are a void. You will wander forever, never falling, nor live living. What then? So much time has passed since my sister crashed. Latias hasn't been able to climb out of the depths. She is all alone down there. Even if I end up like her, unable to escape, two would be better than one. Latias wouldn't have to be so alone. How foolish. Do you think Latias wishes for that? But, it's a place you can't escape, isn't it? I don't see how we could do a rescue in a place like that. No, there is. There is but one possible way. You, you can? You already possess the, the means in your possession. The teleport gem. Use that. The teleport gem? The one we used to get up to the sky where Rayquaza lives? But it got broken in the Falling Star's explosion. While it is unlikely to carry you to the sky again, it should be able to carry you a shorter distance. If you were to use the teleport jump from deep within the Pitfall Valley... That's it! If we did that, we could escape with Latias! Richard G, this is a rescue that only we can do! Let's go to rescue Latias! So, we're ready for Pitfall Valley. So that's the next thing we will be doing, which will give us some more EXP and stuff, but this was a long one due to all the training and the longer dungeon. So, I think this is a good stopping point. So we'll go to Pitfall Valley next time. This is Richard G, and may the dragons be with you.